I love Studio 10. From linen to cotton to silk, there are so many different types of bed sheets on the market. Here to answer all our burning questions on what's best with Royal Interior Designer, James Kerbal. How are you feeling, James? Oh, I've got the toughest job in the oh. world, haven't I, girls? How's this? Have you heard the rose between two thorns? In this case, it's the other way around. Oh. <laughs> Tash and I have been busting for this segment. Have we you? have been dying to hop into bed. Great. Have a great. We have had a little rest. I've never felt so popular. Oh, but you're going to talk to us about the different types of sheets and what yeah, we're we are. Yeah, we are. Look, I just wanted to throw together some ideas because people get confused when it comes to the type of sheets that they're going to have in their bed. I just went off to our friends at um, Hub and Home and I got this beautiful bed and bedding because I wanted to explain some things to you guys at home. Mm-hmm. People get confused mainly about the word thread count. Yes. Okay? So thread count is the amount of thread which is inside the weave of the fabric. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, so when, it's the higher the better. Do you want a higher thread count? You want a higher count? thread count because it means that you've got more um, – more weave. So you've got your vertical threads and then you've got your weft, which goes in between them. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes the, 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 the sheets thicker and denser and the harder wearing. Mm-hmm. So this fabric that we've got actually on this set is called a sateen, and you might have heard this word. They're a bit so silky, They've got they? a slight sheen on them, Tash, mm-hmm. exactly. So that is produced by the process of making these these sheets. So when you've got your vertical um, um, threads and then you weft them in, you leave about every second or third and that actually creates this blend and gives it the slight sheen. But it's very hard wearing. It's comfy. It feels fantastic. And the fabric is treated before it's made. So that allows the fabric to hold its colour. So that means you can wash it after with the kids and hard wearing and, and parties and, and like the three of us in bed, we don't know where it's going to go. Um, this is going to be uh, easy to clean and wash and wash and wash and maintain its quality. There are so many choices. It's like milk going to, um, you know, a linen shop. Yes. There is cotton. There is 3,000 count. Yes. There are flannel, flannelettes, which yep. Jess loves. Do you? What well, are look, the best ones? There's look, bamboo. for me, it's cotton because it? I get really hot in bed. You are a little bit sweaty. It is. Well, it's for more reasons than one. <laughs> for more reasons than one because I get really hot in bed and, you know, our son does as well. Um, the cotton is breathable. Mm-hmm. Now, when it gets cooler in the night, as in between seasons, particularly autumn and spring, that's when you use your throw and you pull it up in the middle of the night to give you that extra layer. Mm. If you're colder in bed, then you can use um, the flannelette sheets. Yep. And you also mentioned bamboo, which I love because those synthetic fibres, the bamboo, you think of it like being, you know, a hard plant, right? Sure. The threads are really fine and they're boiled and bashed and treated so they become very soft that but they're very soft, long and very strong and the other thing that you would have heard of is egyptian cotton yes is that now good? it's great it's possibly the best i prefer because is this it, what's this here this one is possibly a blend i've got to take the glasses off to have a 500 look 500 thread yeah it's a 500 thread so um, it's spread. bamboo and cotton mm-hmm. now ah. that's the natural fibers and also i'm asthmatic so if you've got anyone with allergies these are great as opposed to the synthetics when you get the blends Sometimes the blends will mean that the sheets are easier to stay Mm wrinkle-free, but they're a bit more harder to wear on, and otherwise these are nice and soft on the body. I think a secret to the perfect bed is also the underlay, and I can feel it's on this. Underlay, underlay, underlay. This is a a quilted mattress, so it's got another level on top. And you you can have the underlay and then you flip it. Ooh. So you have like the fur of an animal. In winter, you have it so that the fur is first facing up, like a sheep mm. um, underlay. Okay. And then in summer, you can leave it on, but you flip it and put the, the, it down the other way, and then mm. it will let you breathe. What so you can take it off. You talk about breathing the importance of what's going to work best for us. Linen, because mm. linen is gets so Look, I love crushed. linen because it looks beautiful, and it does get crushed. If anyone wears linen shirts mm, or linen terribly. dresses, it crushes the minute you sit down. Really bad for like us on TV because, you know, we're up and down all the time. Mm-hmm. So... Um, not a good thing to say when we're in bed, is it? But it's, it, it wrinkles so much. It looks great in bedding, though, because it's wonderful. Now, you're pulling this over. I love Once this. Once you stay from seasons, I think you've got a pillow on that side or a cushion. Have you got a quilted cushion? Once you change the seasons, you mm. can change and add on some thicker quilted throws, which are fantastic to, to um, add on to your bed and give and you this snuggle. Beautiful, yeah, to give you the snuggle feeling. And these beautiful quilted cushions and throw are very much on trend. And you can stay with your colour scheme. So this is a, quite a spring, autumn colour scheme in this bed but I can still use this and just add the thicker fabric in the mm. in these velvets and I don't have to change the whole bedding which is great and it's not too expensive and pillows oh. have you got a pillow on that side too have we got another one these oh, are surprising ah, look. 
pillows are not now. Big. Now, the interesting thing is the difference between these two pillows. These, if you look at these, again, now I, I grab them from Harvey Norman, so they're just price point. Wherever you get your pillows from, you can. But these have got the price on them. So this one comes with this beautiful cover, and it looks gorgeous. Yes. Now, this one... It's $49.95. Mm. This one Ooh. is much more than is that. It's $229. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a big difference, but you've got to think we spend one third of our lives in bed. But sometimes I've found, especially with the kids, sometimes cheaper pillows are a better op option. Cheaper pillows are if you're going to be growing in and out of them, but if you get a good quality yeah, pillow right. and you always put a cover on your pillow, then if your kids Protects sweat, it. they don't stain yeah. the pillow, they stain the cover and you take that off and wash it. And what about the greatest debate of all time? Mm. What is that, Tash? Fitted sheet. Fitted sheets. Fitted sheets. Do you want to fold a fitted sheet? Oh, oh, yes, please. <laughs> I have never been able to. You know Haven't what? You? Not surprisingly, you know what? I like to sh just you guys shove do that and I'll I have shove a them nap. in the cupboard. Okay, so what we're going to do is shake this out. Okay. It Shake gets it? tricky. Yeah. Everyone thinks it's tricky, but it's not so hard. So what I want you to do yeah. is to face the elastic side away from you. How do I know what side that is? So if you grab the corners into yeah. like that, that's oh. the elastic side away from you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then grab the longest side so that you're going to stretch your arms out so that you've got the longest side. Okay. Now fold your hands inside the corner like this, yeah. like a little puppet. Oh. Okay. You got it on the inside. You're you're great at this, aren't you? No. <laughs> it's, you keep going. Okay, you keep so going. you throw these out. So you've got it like this. You stretch yep. this. Join the points together. Flip it over, and then I straighten this out. Now oh, I've got that side. I put my hand inside. Bend this inside. Join these corners back together. Push the point on, fold it back over. Are you following? Yeah. End up with a nice yep, square. Absolutely. Now you lay it on top here with Tash. She's doing well, isn't she? She's Look, doing very fold well. This one third, fold this one third. Fold this one third. Just tied it under the bed. Fold this one third <laughs> and fold that one third. Oh, Look at that. And you've ended up with a nice oh. flat shape. Can you come and sort come out and all of your at home? Like it's not so hard and you can keep all your bedding looking neat and tidy. So, you know, have fun in bed in more ways than one and you can get good quality bedding that's going to last a long time and great for your family as well. We love you. Big round of applause. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> and for more design inspiration, you can head to jamestreble.com. James, thanks again for joining us. I'm loving this oh, one. Thanks, so I think we need to get back in bed. Come on.